I'll give you a quick overview of my carburetor modification on my Briggs and Stratton ELS 26 horsepower um, overhead valve twin cylinder engine what I'm doing is I'm converting this to run on dual fuel either gasoline or propane so this is the carburetor that has been removed there's the choke sorry for the camera shake here let me alright this is the choke side and you can see down in there the tubes that are coming down on each side um, what I've done here is I've drilled a hole a six millimeter by one millimeter thread a five millimeter hole and then tapped it out six by one millimeter threads I had to modify that top plate to give me clearance and that is a six millimeter tube that came on a CNG kit that I had some leftover stuff so this one I have to have two inlets because the bores are separated and I need to get equal fuel into each one of them and so I had measured these and I have these sticking down equal length and if you look way down in there you can see it's a little fuzzy but there's an angle cut on that uh, tube facing the engine side and I have sufficient clearance for the butterflies So this is the carburetor modification. Everything is still intact and I can hook it up to gasoline if I wanted to. In order to do this modification I did completely disassemble the carburetor so I didn't get any metal shavings down in there and I could clean it out before I reassembled it. So I wanted to show an, a uh, up close of this and I'm going to reinstall this and hook it up to propane using my beam model T60 regulator and see it run. So anyway, that's it.